Chapter forty one of Just Stories The Kind That Never Grow Old by Winfred Hurst, SDS. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Maria Therese. Knitting a Sweater for Little Jesus. It was during Advent, the four weeks of solemn preparation for the most beautiful feast of the year, Christmas. All over the world, Holy Church was longing for the coming of the Savior and giving expression to that longing in her sublime liturgy. But I am going to speak today of only two of the devout children of Mother Church. I know, of course, that many others were doing good during that sacred season of expectation, but I do not know just what form their goodness was taking. I only know about Harry and Rosie. Harry was Rosie's brother, and she wouldn't have exchanged him for anything in the world. Advent was just beginning, and I noticed that Harry and Rosie were a little different from what they used to be. Their morning prayers were a little longer, and so were their evening prayers. They did not talk as much as they used to. Instead of shouting and laughing and playing during all their free time, they would often slip away into some quiet, cozy corner. And once when I peeped into two such cozy corners, I saw Harry reading a fine book of Bible stories, and Rosie all engrossed in a Catholic magazine. I was puzzled. So one day when I went over to the school, I told Sister about it, and asked her what these two were up to. Why, Father, I really do not know, she replied. They are so mysterious about it. They are just perfect children at school now, and every day, morning, noon, and night, and sometimes at recess, they make private visits to the church and pray most devoutly before the Blessed Sacrament. Once when I entered the church very quietly, I heard Rosie say the Our Father aloud, very piously. She thought she was all alone with Jesus. It seems to me, Father, that these two have some little plan or something. Leave it to me, sister. I will find out, I said. So that very day I got a chance to be alone with Harry and Rosie. I had a little visit with them, during which they were bright and talkative, but delightfully respectful and reserved at the same time. When I arose to go, I said, Sister and I have both noticed that you are doing something special for somebody during Advent. Tell me, what is it, darlings? You should have seen them blush. Finally, Rosie said, Well, Father, I'll tell you. We're knitting a sweater for little Jesus. Oh, I see, I replied, so surprised that I didn't know what else to say. But honestly, I did not see at all. I told Sister about it. She simply said, I wonder. Neither of us had ever seen them knitting a single stitch. It was Christmas Eve. Harry and Rosie rang the bell at the sister's house and asked to see their dear teacher. In a moment she came, tired from the day's work of preparation for the great feast that was to begin with midnight mass, but happy and already full of Christmas peace and joy. Harry did the speaking. Sister, he said, we just finished knitting a sweater for little Jesus. Please, sister, put it right near the cradle of straw in the crib so that Mother Mary can find it easily and put it on him to keep him warm. Then with a polite goodbye, they skipped away, leaving an envelope in sister's hand. She opened it. Neatly written on a folded sheet of paper were the words, Dearest Christ child, here is something that will keep your heart warm with love for us. Eight hundred our fathers, and each word of that beautiful prayer you yourself taught us a well-made stitch in the warm garment we want you to have on Christmas Day. You are loving. Harry and Rosie Nearling It was Christmas morning. Harry and Rosie were chatting with Sister. Oh, it was easy, Rosie was saying. Each of us said ten our fathers every day, two in the morning at our morning prayers, two in the evening at our evening prayers, and the rest during special little visits to the Blessed Sacrament. Sure, it was easy, said Harry, and Sister, it is impossible to tell how very, very happy I am today, because I helped Rosie knit a sweater for little Jesus. Then everybody smiled, such a Christmas smile as you never saw before. End of chapter 41